The Instant Lenormand by Tarot Lynn is a wonderful, relatively new deck that Lynn has made. She works by Photoshop manipulation and does some really beautiful cards. She has all different kinds of decks out. It's kind of fun to explore her website. This particular one is called the Instant Lenormand because what she has done is put the meanings of the cards right onto the cards. So if you're new to the system, you can use this as kind of a cheat sheet as you go. It's kind of like having playing cards with the answers written on them. So as you put cards side by side in small spreads, you'll be able to see what they mean by putting together the two meanings or the three meanings or however many you have. So if you're doing a reading and something doesn't make sense, you'd be able to check out uh, the different possibilities right on the card. The cards come in multiple sizes. So you've got here your poker size, which is two and a half by three and a half. The bridge side was just a little bit more narrow by about a quarter inch on the width. So that's two and a quarter so you can see by just three and a half. That much overlap, not very much. But if you like to keep them as narrow as you can, like I do, I tend to go more for the bridge size. If you really like them small, there's also the mini size, which is small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. And this is really convenient if you want to put together a very large spread, like a grand tableau. It will take a very little real estate, so you'll be able to use a table and um, not have to spread them out on the floor. In addition to these three possibilities, for those who are more advanced, this is a deck I really love. It's the same thing. She still calls it the Instant Lenormand. But what she has done here is taken the cheat sheet off the bottom so that if once you get used to the cards, you'll be able to use them with no clutter of words on them. And you just have the really beautiful images. Lynn often does something unusual to her decks that many don't. Is that you can order any of her decks in different uh, kind of volume so you can get your typical 36 card Lenormand deck or you can get a 72 card deck well the 72 card deck has multiples of the same cards so that you can choose which way you like the rider to go what you want them to look like um, some of the cards are only singles like the clover here the uh, ship you can choose which way you want the ship to go and then you have some that have some varieties, like you have the house that comes in different possibilities. You have the tree, the different options for the tree. It's our clouds card. The snake has many possibilities. So you've got all these choices for your nasty snake. Pictures in the Instant Lenormand with the keywords are the same as the ones that don't have the keywords. So these two are the same. These two are the same. You can see how the image is a little bit bigger on the one without the words. The card insets on both of them are written just the uh, number, what it is, nine of hearts. Court cards, it's the same. You don't have an image of anything. And I actually asked Lynn if maybe in future decks might she possibly consider having card insets that are actually real cards with the images of the cards. And she said, you know, I was thinking of doing that. So down the road, we'll probably see that kind of change from Lynn, and I'm looking forward to that. A real perk of this deck is the uncluttered background in the uniform color, so that when you put these together in a large spread, they are extremely easy to read. You know exactly what picture you're looking at. There's no clutter. There's a couple of okay choices. You've got your couple of coffin choices. Scythe. And so you can see, if you were to lose a card, you would have backup cards. Our child, you have a couple of children here that you can choose. And same thing with the man and woman card, bear's box. If you have two people in the same reading, whether it's a same sex couple, or if you have a couple of a man and a woman and you want to add another man or woman in, you'll have options of those two because there are multiple people cards. This is my favorite card in the deck, the mice card. I really like that a lot. I like how his little hand is on the other mouse. You have another mice card if you happen to like this one better. Different hearts. So they're a lot of fun. The images are really lovely. Very, very lovely. This is the ring. A couple of books. And I really love this letter right here. And here we come up to our people card. So there's one man and woman. And here's another. 
So you can choose out of these four people, put them into the same reading. As you can see, it's really obvious which cards you're looking at. And if you don't want the lock in there, if you feel that's too much clutter, she made one without. Very beautiful. Different fish choices, anchor, and so on. Another thing she adds to her readings is she has these kind of special cards at the end. So she has a cat, which is uh, another option instead of the dog. Two cat choices here. For me, when I use cat, I use it as a conditional friend, a friend with conditions. This is the money card. If you're not sure which of the cards are about money and you're confused, you're just starting out, this is another option you can use. Same thing with work. People can argue over which card means work. Uh, once you get settled into one, you'll be able to find one for you. But if you're just starting out and you're confused, that can be your work card. Sexual intimacy, same thing. People argue between the lily and the whip. There it is right there if you want to use that instead. And she also has a yes and a no card. Uh, you can do yes and no spreads without the yes and no card, but this is just another option if you want. These extra cards are typically not in the traditional Lenormand, so they're kind of bonus cards. Um, when I do the readings, I tend to take these out. I don't need them, but if you're just starting out, this is just another option for you. Each of those bonus cards is in all of these decks if you get the version that has 72 cards. The cardstock quality is excellent. Got a nice bend to it, and if you look real carefully, you've got kind of a linen finish. I don't know if you can see that, but you can actually get a little texture there, which adds a lot of class to the cards on the back. All of the decks have the same image. A little bit smaller for the mini deck. At the very bottom, it says Instant Lenormand by Lynn, so you won't forget the name of the deck. The, there is really not a border. There's a little bit of frill at the end here, a little bit of greenery, which adds some real beautiful visual interest to the edges, kind of frames the images without taking away any space from them. Some people wonder about the poker versus bridge size. This is if you have an 8x4 four plus 4. Uh, Grantablo, if you put the cards side by side, here is the larger poker size. You can see it takes a little bit more space than the smaller bridge side just because the width is a bit smaller. Up and down they're the same. So you can see it adds up to maybe a half of a card at the end. These overlap a little, so it's maybe a half of a card. Lynn also offers at her website some opportunity to buy matching bags. This one happens to match the Emerald Forest Lenormand. I have a review on that one as well. To pop your cards right in there. Keep them safe. It's cushioned and secure and beautiful. The cards don't come with a pouch. Instead, they come with these kind of um, plastic crystal cases. They don't really lock shut, so I often don't use these. However, Alexander Musrock has a clever video where he shows how to put these together with tape and ribbon. You can tie them and put the card inside. So go look for his video at Angel Remedy page on how to jazz this up in all of maybe five minutes of that. And it turns into a beautiful little house for the cards that stay securely closed. Anyone that purchases a deck from Lynn gets this, it's kind of like a PDF or an ebook. It's a kind of a mini course that she offers as a book as a digital ebook and she will send that to you when you purchase her cards so it shows images from the actual deck you purchase get with this 33 pages of how to so it starts with pairing cards then it gets into a little bit bigger three card combinations of four card spread but this just gives some samples really shows you what the basic meanings of each of the cards are. So if we were to take the cards, that's about how much information you get on each of the individual She mentions cards. what her extra special cards are, what they mean. So the cat, the work, job, career card, other ones that she has, the yes and no, for example. She talks about which cards are in which suit, people cards that you can use for focus, some card reading tips, finding quick answers for your spreads. She goes a little bit into the grant blow. This is something this is something that's really hard to describe in an ebook, but she kind of goes over a little bit what that's about kind of quick, but gives you a sample. So, and there's resource links at the end as well, so you can go to lots of places to learn more about how to read the Lenormand Oracle. And thank you Lynn for putting my website as one of those resources. So this is little free e-course will come with your deck of cards. So what I've done here is just put together nine cards so you can see quickly in a larger spread how easy it is to read across and see 
which images are on the card so you can read fast, fast, fast. This makes them very easy to read. So you can see child, bouquet, birds, mice, really easy to see. There is no clutter here to worry about. Even the smallest version, which I can hold in the palm of my hand, you can see has all the information that you would find in the larger. So if we take the largest of them, which is the poker size and the smallest of them, every piece of information is in both of the cards so you can still maintain the same information the tiniest of cards for those who are curious about the difference in size between the poker and the bridge maintains everything is the same it's hard to even notice that some of the edge is missing you just a little bit of the dark border here has been cut off but you still have the integrity of the whole card and the image the clouds do maintain a dark side. You can see it's a little dark over here than it is on this side. So if you'd like to read that, that uh, works out for you. And the coffin does not have draping on one side. This one has draping, but it's very uniformly centered. So if you like to use the draping, you can uh, pre kind of pre-plan which side you would like to choose, the left or the right. This is another of my favorite cards. Is the one of the two child card choices. The vintage look, the sepia, the sweet face, the edging, everything is just perfect in this card. I absolutely, absolutely love it. The bow, the dress, the rose on her. So pretty. Other things that I really appreciate about these cards is that the birds card has two birds. Even though it looks like we have something like, I don't know, kingfishers here. Then the traditional birds, there are two of them, which helps maintain the meaning of the card. I love that the fox maintains his red color in both pictures, so you can still use it as a redhead. I love that the crossroad actually shows a choice left and right and a split in the road. That's excellent. That's better for me than the signs that I see in some cards. So you've got your choice in, there's with the words and there's without the keywords. The same image. And the broom and whip. If you're wondering which she put on there, is you got a little of both. You got your brooms, you got your whips. So I think that's an excellent option that both is available to people. So good job, Tara Lynn. I'm really excited about using this deck. I love the ease with which it reads because the cards are so uncluttered and clear. I love the uniform backgrounds. I love the kind of vintage-y kind of look that they come with. I love the backs. I think that's a real classy back. And um, I have been really enjoying this deck a lot. So whether you like to have the keywords or you like to just use the images on their own, you can take your choice, large or small deck. Everything is here. It's kind of like a custom deck for yourself. So enjoy this one. This is a really special deck.